Good evening friends. My name is Dr. B.S. Madheshwar. Today I am going to discuss with you about the insulin resistance and this topic is that way it is complicated. So when we discuss about this insulin resistance, first of all we should know the definition of diabetes. So diabetes is a chronic disorder, it is a metabolic disorder where there is a chronic hyperglycemia where there is a insulin resistance and in addition to it there is insulin deficiency. Of course when these two things are there, there is a possibility of glucotoxicity, lipotoxicity also and the complications of diabetes like microvascular complications and microvascular complication. So when we diagnose this particular condition in diabetes mellitus patient, it is always many times it is mistaken there is something wrong with the insulin. No. Friends, there is nothing wrong with the insulin. Even though insulin level is very high, with some patient there is a high glucose level, it is hyperglycemia. So there must be some reason why there is a hyperglycemia in spite of this high insulin level. The defect is always in the tissues. There are receptors in the different tissues, mainly on the muscle, liver, adipose tissue, and these organs where these receptors there allowing glucose to enter inside this tissue with the help of insulin and these receptors they are not working properly. So the main defect is not with the insulin, it is with the receptors of this different tissue. So what could be the reason behind this? It can be genetic, but many times it is seen with the obese people. Those are obese and overweight and there is central obesity and visceral adiposity, physically inactive, no physical activity, no exercise, sedentary lifestyle, excess of carbohydrate eating, especially of the gly high glycemic index. So these are the patients where we can get high insulin level and at the same time because of not utilization of this insulin, there is a high glucose level and we label this patient as a diabetes mellitus, especially these things, I mean we should not call this patient as a diabetes mellitus. But over a period of time, for a few many years, let's say four to five years, when this beta cell they gets exhausted now because of excess insulin secretion in presence of high glucose level, there is a possibility now this beta cell may not secrete adequate insulin and that time this person becomes a diabetic. So before this, one person becomes diabetic, before the stage, it is a pre-diabetes where there is obesity, there is a high glucose level, there is a high insulin level also. Now how to diagnose this clinically? All these patients they are obese, their BMI is high, maybe more than 30. They have got acanthosis nigricans, there is a discolouration on the skin, on the nape of the neck, and axilla, then the groin. And some patients they have got skin tags also. And these are the conditions, these are the findings in this patient. But if you want to prove by doing some investigation, the best investigation will be fasting insulin level and fasting blood glucose level. So with the help of these two things, if we this multiply fasting insulin into fasting glucose divided by 405 and the answer is more than 1.5, definitely this person has got insulin resistance. That means in presence of adequate or high insulin level, uptake of glucose by the tissues is not there. Now the treatment is most important part in this particular insulin resistant patient. Of course there is no as such there is no medicine. But at, at all, the, if you want to give some medicine for this patient, we can give metformin in adequate doses, we can give dapagliflozin, so there can be excessive loss of the glucose through urine and Proportionately, there will be less of insulin secretion by beta cell, or sometimes we can give GLP-1 receptor agonists also. But even then, this patient we should advise always lifestyle modification. So there should be adequate diet with all vitamins and minerals, and physical activity and exercise. So the best treatment or best management in a case of insulin resistance is always lifestyle modification because many times those are obese or overweight these patients they like to eat more and more because the fat cell needs more calories for their survival so that is why their diet is always on high set.